So the seats on this bus were attached to the frame uh, by these little C channels. There's one here on the wall, one on the other side, of, obviously, and there's one embedded in the floor. Now, um, but essentially what it is, is this C channel <clears throat> is welded on the back side. So what I'm going to do is go through here with my cutoff wheel, and I'm going to cut um, the welds just enough so that it gets loose, and then I'm going to start putting a pry bar in here, and then just working my way all the way to the back of the bus. So I was able to cut off this uh, weld and this weld and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this um, with my sawzall and hopefully I can pry down on that other weld that's down here and not actually have to cut it and just maybe weaken it by continuing to move it and maybe then I can just break it off. And if that works then I can just cut with my sawzall maybe every foot and then just cut the top welds and then pry it down and break the bottom welds loose. So let's cut that. So frankly, this is not going as well as I'd like it to. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get an extension cord for my plasma torch and I'm going to come with the plasma torch plugged into the garage and on the back side of this I'm just going to cut through those welds. Hopefully I'm not going to cut through the one by one that the thing is uh, welded to but I'm already destroying this one right here and I'm only six inches into 40 feet of it so this is not the method to use. So I'm going to have to get an extension cord for my plasma torch and then come back and uh, cut this thing out. So. I decided that removing the frame with the side rail was the best solution. I used my sawzall to cut through large chunks and I removed them using force. Okay, so I've already removed all of the side rails uh, from the bus, and now the time is to remove all of the flooring because the floor on this side of the bus kind of has sunken down, and I need to take all the flooring off. One, because it's OSB and needs to be replaced with real plywood, and two, I need to structurally fix this side of the bus so that it's level so when I put my flooring down, it doesn't bow down on the ends. In order to take this flooring off, um, all that you need to do is just remove, just pull up the carpeting, and <clears throat> that will reveal the screws uh, at about every six inches that need to be uh, taken out. And this uh, OSB flooring is actually glued to the metal subframe. And so it's kind of tricky to get it off, but using a pry bar, um, it comes off pretty easily. So that's what I'm going to work on today is removing all of this flooring, exposing the frame so that I can then structurally fix the side of the bus. I'm not going to videotape all of that because it's a long process, but I'll show you a video when it's all done.